Your saline is great to rehydrate, uh, mm. but it's like I, I push a liter of saline into a body. It's only there for, I think it's like four hours or something like that before it starts going to that interstitial fluids. So you don't really get a huge increase in pressure mm -hmm. and you don't have the oxygen carrying capability. So you're basically turning blood into Kool-Aid and calling it juice and mm -hmm. hoping it works the mm -hmm. same. Yeah. Yeah. And on <clears throat> just to go a little further with that, um, especially <laughs> probably going to start a, a big debate here. But, <laughs> um you know, sodium chloride, saline, what we, what we would give the, the kind of normal go-to isotonic, um, with the amount that some people are dumping into these heavily bleeding patients, um, we are really kind of metabolically messing them up. Uh, you get started to get some, uh, like chloremic acidosis on ion gap. It's harder to recognize. It's harder to fix. Um, it's just not, again, I don't want to start a huge debate here, but, <laughs> but, you know, in that setting where you don't have any blood, LR is probably a better, better isotonic to go to. Mm -hmm. It's still not great, <clears throat> but again, you know, people are seeing these super soft blood pressures and they're seeing all this bleeding and they just want to help. And so they're dumping liters and liters of saline mm -hmm. in and it's, it's probably, on the verge of hurting more than helping. 